uh, 3 comes out, it's gonna be a Call of Duty channel. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be doing this to yeah, everyone. And, uh, <laughs> you know? I'm gonna be killing everyone on Black Ops 3, yeah. baby! <laughs> so... What is up, YouTube? This is Rob here, back with another podcast, episode two. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the struggle with the YouTube community um, and just, you know, a bunch of thoughts on YouTube in general. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys could please leave a comment down below to uh, give us ideas for our next stream podcast, that would be awesome. Um, I also got the other two guys' links down in the description. Make sure to go check both of them out. They've been subscribers to my channel since the beginning, um, and they've really helped me out. So if you guys could just help them out with a sub, I'd appreciate it. Uh, this is Rob, and let's get right into this podcast. All right, we are back with another episode of the podcast, and today we are going to be talking about the struggle in the YouTube community, and I'm back with the same people as last time, Sinestro and Matt Whoa. Names Games. What is up, guys? What's uh, up? I'll put their uh, <laughs> link in the description this time so you guys could actually go check them out and make it real simple for you guys. Um, but yeah, let's get talking about this struggle in the YouTube world, because uh, mm -hmm. we're... Just the general community. Yeah, the community. I mean... It's it's not easy. It's it's tough, and I think we got I think we got three good views here. I mean, I'm not trying to put anyone on blast. I'm not a huge channel, but I'm the largest one. Matt's in between in the middle, and then Sinestro's a little bit lower. So we got we got you know <laughs> different views on this. Um, so I think it should be a little bit interesting for you guys. Uh, Most definitely. So, so where, where should we start? Part. Where should we start with this? <laughs> all right, you know, I'm just gonna throw it in there because this is what I'm mad about. Like, all these, all these people like trying to get me to sub for sub, and uh, you know, at the beginning <clears> when I had like five or six subs, I was like, yeah, I'll sub for sub and 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 whatever, you know. But then people don't watch your stuff; they just sub for sub just so that they show the number on there. And then I just don't want. And then I took how many subs I have. Um, out of my channel because I don't want people to know how many subs I have because I don't want them basing their their decision on whether they're going to subscribe to my channel or not um, yeah. you know, just because how many subs I have I mean just because I don't have a lot of subs doesn't mean I don't have good content exactly and, uh, I recently had a guy come up and say you know I'll sub yeah. to you if you sub to me and I started up telling him you know what I don't do stuff for sub if there's stuff in your channel that I like and I like your content I'll, I'll definitely sub but other than that I'm not going to do stuff for sub I'm guilty, man. I'm guilty. Yeah. I've done some sub for sub, and, and I I feel you. It it kind of goes nowhere. It it doesn't really benefit you. I I feel like it's just when you when you start off, like you said, when you started off, it's just like you want those subs. That's where your goal is. You want to be big. You want to yeah. have subs. So you think you know if you go out there. I actually have a friend that has, I'm not going to put him on blast or anything, but he, he has like 150 subs or something like that, and he literally gets no views, and it's very, very obvious to go onto a channel and tell whether or not they're a sub for sub, or yeah. if they're legit and they're just good, so, I don't know, it's just, it's freaking tough, and man. I, it's... I've done it, I just won't do it anymore, because there's like, I think like three or four people that I've done that to, and... It's just, uh, like you said, it's, there's no benefit to it. Yeah, it gets you nowhere. Yeah. I I think what's helped me the most, obviously, has been my three shout-outs, is trying to, you know, find people that do shout-outs that are bigger. But there's, yeah. a good, there's a good side of that, and there's a bad side of that. Um, it's the same thing, man. Like, those people that are going to sub to you, they're not... Some of them are going to watch, but not all of them are going to watch. And it's just the same concept, man. It's really just hit or miss. It's it's really boils down really, to your content. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Matt? Mr. Well, Quiet. I'm <clears throat> I'm the innocent one in the group. I've never done sub for sub, so I don't know. I I done my research on it, and I was like, everybody says pretty much the same thing that G two says. It, to me, it's just pointless. Yeah. You know, just to increase the sub count. 
but then you don't get no view, like nobody watches it. So I, I just, I just don't do it, dude. I just upload, I just focus on my content, and then just, you know, people sub, people sub. So yeah. Yeah, I've actually seen channels do that where, where they're like, oh, we do for sub for sub. Put your, put your like channel info down in the comments on this video, and like people sub for sub for each other and make a big old chain about it. I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Rob. Rob hasn't met him yet, but yeah, there's this one guy. I, he's only he, he's young, dude. He's high school. But uh, yeah, all he does is like I hung out with him for like five hours, and in a matter of those five hours, he just messaged random people on Advanced Warfare, like go sub my chat. Like he would actually make them go subscribe. He would just nag the hell out of them. He, hmm. he got like three people. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> spamming in real life. <laughs> like yeah. spamming yeah. through your voice. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Go to my channel. Go to my channel. Go to my channel. Yeah. To my channel. <laughs> and I don't know. I really don't know what the key is to success. I just think putting in hard work and just staying to yourself is really the best thing. Yeah, because, I mean, you put in some work, too. I mean, you've been doing this for, like, a year now, and yeah. you're just now, like, starting to see the the results of that hard work. You know, yeah, and... Subs and shout-outs, and it's freaking awesome. Yeah, and... It and... kind of makes me, like, hold out, you know, just a little bit more. Like, it's only been three months for me, and, and I'm at 17, so... Yeah, you can't give up. I mean, you really can't. Yeah. There's been times where I seriously just thought of just giving up, and... Uh, I'm not gonna keep getting subs or it'll go a week and I haven't got one sub or just you know when a video for me only gets I don't know 10 views I'm just like what the hell like why I thought that video was probably one of my best videos in the last month and no one watched it but you just can't give up it it's it, the struggle is going, real man. yeah super real so what you guys are telling me is you st as being successful, being successful on YouTube is by subs and not by like view count, basically, right? And then you like switched, like, because no. everybody's got a different opinion on like how you view, how you define success on YouTube. Yeah. Um. Well, so obviously, I, I think views. it's I think success it's a lot of time, is. Dude. Be, well, yeah, but success in YouTube is getting paid and doing it for a job, and you you finally made it to success and obviously at that point you're gonna have tons of yeah. views and you're gonna have tons of subs so why would it matter matter which one is better than the other i think that matters at a lower sub count like our our channels i mean like say say i have okay so i have 130 subs and i only get i say on an average 20 to 30 views a video and say you got 50 subs and you get 50 views a video you're I, I feel like your chances of growing are better than mine i don't know that it i don't know it, it's really just random it's all just randomness it's not no this is what you're gonna do and you're gonna be a famous youtuber it's just stick to it and and just and, and I and I kind of disagree with that because I mean you gotta get some watch time. I mean views are one thing, mm -hmm. but you get a view every. I mean if somebody glimpses at your video for a second or two, you get a view. Yeah. You know, and then then they, yeah. they go away. I I think the watch time is a little bit more important because then you know people are actually watching your videos. You know, and and uh, sure, I mean if you got 50 subscribers but you only get 10 views but they watch all of your video, I mean you gotta count that as a win, right? Yeah. Very very true. Yeah. Very, very true. Yeah, I mean, because okay. if you go to somebody's channel and then, you know, they have a thousand subs and they have 300 views on every video, but their their average view duration is only a minute and they make five minute videos, they're, they're, his subs aren't watching, you know, very much of his videos and he's spending all his time to, to you know, put stuff out there. I That's just my, my opinion on that. You got to get people to watch your stuff. Watch your stuff. You got to make yeah. uh, engaging content. Yeah. Exactly. This where <clears throat> look at you, Mr. Mr. <laughs> over here, Magic Man. You got to get those well, fans, I mean, man. You got to get fans, bro. You got to make friends. A lot of new YouTubers, they think, you know, that I mean, why you, you know, that's why stuff for stuff so popular 
Okay, just focus on the subscribe. You're cutting. Oh, dude. You're, you're cutting. Yeah, dude. You're cutting in dude. and out pretty bad oh, right dang now. It, dang. Uh, all right, what do you what do you think about those 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 people who do shout outs and you have to do certain things and uh oh uh, yeah. You know, you do you do like the uh you sub to someone that they shout it out and then you tell them whatever sent you. Well, and then, isn't that technically sub for sub because you're subbing to sub so that you yeah. can get a shout out so that people sub. I mean, it's just another uh extension of that. Um I have noticed that with me at least when i first started it was mm -hmm. it was all about my subs i wanted to get subs and then yeah. just as time came i started thinking about i want you know i want my subs to be viewing everything like who cares how many subs like why do i got videos up that have no views and then i just start and then a, like then i found out about shout outs and i'm like what i could grow my channel like just like that so like that really really attracted me and i got my first shout out and it grew my channel and then it just my channel started growing faster from that shout out so i have respect for shout outs but i don't like people that go around and say hey sub to my channel for a chance to win yeah. to a to a yeah. shout out you know like i i really yeah. don't like that it, it got me the first time and i've actually commented back on someone and was like man like I'm not, I'm not a fish, yo. You're not using a hook, and you're not gonna bait me. Like that's just all you're trying to do. And who knows if I'm even gonna get a shout out? Like I know you're looking for people to watch your channel and stuff, and like that's what you want out of it. Yeah. But don't do it for someone else that's and, trying to get big, you know. And I've actually taken some of that bait, and like they'll come and say, "Oh, come, come do this and that, and you'll get a shout out." And then uh, I go and I sub, and then they freaking never come and sub me, you know? Like, it's it's weird, like, just to get a shout-out. And, and, like, I personally don't have yeah. time to go and sub to all these people <clears> and um... post that this person sent me, and and, and f just so I could get a shout-out? I don't know, man. I, I, I just give shout-outs every month on my... Uh, on my channel update just because that's just a way I want to show of being thankful, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, like that's another thing or... man like you gotta have people that not really that are interested in your channel and what you do like yeah definitely so many people yeah. do youtube you could just find one person and sub to him and then that's it and never sub to anyone else mm -hmm. because that person's is what is all you want to cover... care about yeah. yeah he covers all your interests in one in one yeah thing. so <clears throat> yeah so that's why i started doing like um like vlogs on my on my thing because i i just find my my stuff interesting maybe it's interesting to somebody mm -hmm. out there and uh just gotta try something new sometimes yeah um yeah maybe having a wide variety of audience probably you know will work very well too i mean it's cool to, you know, like, uh, if, if you want to stick to a just Call of Duty channel, it's cool too, but you've got so much competition in that area, you know? Yeah. You got to do something that sets you apart. That's what's got me nervous, because I am a Call of Duty channel here. I'm a mm -hmm. Call of Duty channel. Matt is a Let's Play channel. Sinestra, what would you consider your channel? Yeah. Um, I'm a, I, you know, like, I started wanting it to be a Call of Duty channel. But um, I like I've really enjoyed like making like a let's play and then doing the vlog thing. So like uh, I I would call it like I'm trying to be like uh, well rounded on it. So I I really just doesn't boil down to any a specific type of channel anymore. Yeah. Um, it's just and it's not because I didn't. It's just like random. It just went in that direction. It's just what it's become. It's growing. That's what it's turning out to be. Um, uh, when Black Ops uh, 3 comes out, it's going to be a Call of Duty channel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing this you to know, everyone. And, uh, <laughs> you know? I'm going to be killing everyone on Black Ops 3, yeah. baby. <laughs> so, oh my God. so, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. So that's what it is. So once once Black Ops 3 comes out, then it'll definitely be a Call of Duty channel for for as long as, but I, I'll still post other stuff because I I just bought a camera for my bike and 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 stuff like that, a camera for for my face reveal stuff and and just to keep it fresh and different and new, if you will, or just you know just something different. So yeah. I I don't know, dude. Wherever wherever it takes me is wherever I will go. 
All right, well, I got a little idea here. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed this. I'm going to try to bring this to a wrap-up. Um, we didn't really take note of what we wanted to talk about. <laughs> this was just kind of all off the top of the head. Um, but if you guys could leave comments and uh, let me know what you guys want us to talk about in the next podcast... The next um, every comment that you guys suggest a topic, we will touch base on everything. So any anything you guys want to do, I'm thinking the next podcast is just going to be what you guys want it to be. Uh, and then we yeah. can touch base on everything. And if I don't get a lot of feedback, um, and I... We'll just I pick do, something. <laughs> we'll pick a topic, but I'll still mention I mean, the comments and bring it up. So. I mean, we, and then we have three channels in order to get something and, and you know, put something together for everybody so it, it'll it'll work so yeah guys leave your comments down in in the bottom and let us know what you guys want to hear us babble about heck yeah <laughs> well that's, that's about good. it i think we're done here that's about it. <laughs>